Hey everybody, hope you're all doing good today. Uh, December 22nd, I'm filming this video, and December 22nd is always a good day for me because uh, it marks yesterday is the winter solstice, shortest day of the year. Today, the days start getting two minutes longer every day, which I love because, you know, I, there's nothing more I like than summertime, long days, shorts, t-shirts. So bring it on, I'm ready for that. But um, hey, I was gonna do, uh, if you guys saw the video yesterday, I was talking about, you know, what age does an, an angler peak in their fishing? And I was gonna do a couple more like that, but it seemed like it didn't go across with everybody. That I mean, it seems like a lot of people just weren't that interested in it. So instead, I'm gonna sort of refocus a little bit and start going back through some of the comments I've been getting about what everybody's wanting to hear about. And a lot of it has been, you know, a lot of fishing tip stuff. And one of them I've been got, getting a lot is what's the best way to set up a wacky rig? Um, because, you know, wacky rigs are becoming like one of the top techniques. Uh, the, it's been around forever, but the last four or five years, they've really become a top technique because with the heavy fishing pressure we have in our lakes, a wacky rig is a real subtle presentation. It catches big fish and it's just a really good technique. And what I wanted to share with y'all today a little bit was was probably there's a two or three mistakes that anglers make when they rig a wacky rig even professional anglers in my opinion and i sort of want to explain why i feel that way based upon my own experience and talking to other people um, so let's get into it first of all this is how most people rig the wacky rig um, they this is a zoom slinky uh, soft uh, plastic stick bait um, most people take the you know the o-ring put it in the middle Put the hook in like this and a lot of people even some some people even use like a uh, like some type of a, a snail type hook which is terrible you always want to use a straight shank you'll you'll get a lot more better hookups with a straight shank than you will any type of a of a snail type snail type hook on there um, also it's fairly weedless even though it's an exposed hook but anyway this is how most people rig it um, even professional anglers a lot of a lot of mo in fact most pros probably rig it like this but I'm here to offer the viewpoint that this is a mistake if you rig it like this, and there's several different ways. This is the way that I like to rig my uh, soft plastic stick base like this linky. I just hook it straight through the, the middle like that with a straight shank hook. And there's a couple of different reasons why I do this. First of all, a wacky rig is a sight oriented bait. It's mainly for clear water, even though you can, can catch fish on them in off colored water. But it's a bait that the fish get real close to and they study. A lot of bass will get will nose right down on these baits and they really look at it. And anytime you got like the O-ring in there, that's just another visual deterrent to the bass if they're really finicky. Whereas if you just hook it straight through the middle like that, you have a lot more natural look and presentation. Now, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, what do you know, Randy? I see pros all the time doing it, you know, rigging it like this. Sure, fine, you can catch fish on it like that. But I, this, this is my viewpoint on it. John Cox is probably the top wacky rig fisherman in the country. He's probably won more big tournaments the last five years on a wacky rig than anyone out there. Go back and look at some of the videos with John Cox. John Cox rigs his wacky rigs like this. He does not rig them like that. What happens, the reason I like it like this is when you cast it out and it's falling through the water, it falls like this and the hook point you know, completely parallel and the hook point stays up as it's going down. The, the legs wiggle real nice. And not only does it keep it more weedless, but when that fish hits it and you set the hook, since the hook point is, pin, is pointed like this, you get a lot better penetration, usually in the roof of the mouth. And whereas if you cast this one out there like this with the O-ring, it sort of falls at a cockeyed angle like this down there through there. You get hung up with it more. And in my opinion, you don't have the, the best hook angle for hook penetration. Now, a lot of people say, well, I want to rig it like this because, you know, I don't want to lose a bunch of these, you know, expensive soft plastic jerk, soft, soft plastic stick baits. It's been my experience that I lose just as many of these when I've got it hooked with the O-ring. That the, When the fish comes up and jumps, it'll just come off of there. And here's a, a tip for you on how you don't lose as many hooking it the way that I'm talking about right here. When you rig it like this, one of the reasons that you lose a lot or anglers lose a lot of baits when they rig it like this is they keep throwing it like this. Every 10 minutes or so or every five minutes, simply take take the hook out 
and just come through at a different position on the worm. And what happens is when you do that, you have a fresh piece of plastic in there that's a little bit stiffer and you don't lose the baits like you will if you just keep throwing it. So just keep, keep taking that thing in and out, in and out. Another thing on here, a uh, mistake that I see a lot of people make is they use a soft plastic stick bait like this Linkly or the, or the Sink or whatever right out of the box. And what I do on mine is notice how, notice how rough mine is right here. It's all gnarled up and rough like that. I take a knife and I'll lay it flat on the table and I rough up the sides with it. And what happens is that takes and it, it gets some of the salt to the surface. Not only does it make it look like more natural and more like wounded, but it softens up the bait and makes it more pliable, more naturalistic in the water. So you can see this one right here, you know, that I haven't done anything to it. And this is the same bait. This is Zoom Slinky. And it's the same bait that I've roughed up. I roughed up this one right here. This one's straight out of the package. Notice the difference on that. And that, since it's, again, since it's a visual type bait, little things like that will make a, a big difference uh, in the presentation with it. But anyway, that's my two big tips with it like that. Um, just try this a little bit. Start hooking it just the old style way in the middle. Um, straight shank, I use the Gamagatsu G Finesse straight shank, heavy, uh, heavy uh, cover flipping hook in it. Um, works really good on that. I never lose any fish on it. It's, it's fairly weedless. And just try rigging it the way like, just like this without the O-ring and just keep taking this thing in and out every time, every 10 minutes or so. And you know, you're not gonna lose many of those things. But anyway, I think it's gonna add up for, to more bites for you. It's a lot more natural presentation. Your hookups are better on it. It's just a all around better way to rig the bait. But anyway, like I said, gonna get back to some work here. Um, got a lot of still stuff we're doing with, with maps on Fish the Moment. We're finishing up our uh, the last part of our winter lake breakdowns. If you go to fishthemoment.com, you can see them. We've got a bunch of winter map, uh, winter lake breakdowns on it. We're gonna be transitioning into the spring lake map breakdowns after the first of the year. So we'll have all your favorite lakes on there. And like I said, if you've got a lake on there that you like to fish, go into our winter breakdown section, check them out. Thank you like that. Also, one again, I wanna remind everybody, January 7th, we got our advanced jerkbait seminar, uh, fishthemoment.com. You can sign up there. It's gonna be like sort of a master's class in jerkbait fishing. It's gonna be really good with that. But anyway, that's today's tip. Hope you guys are doing good. Keep the comments coming. Please subscribe if you haven't. Shoot me some ideas on videos you'd like to see. Got a bunch of them coming up. We got a list a mile long of people, of things that people want to hear we're going to talk about. So I'll be talking about some tips like this um, and, you know, just some old time stories too. But one final thing on the, uh, the uh, you know, the rigging like this is, you know, like I said, I'm not telling anybody that, you know, this is the bad way to rig it. You know, if you are successful with it like this and you like to rig it like this, by all means, continue. Everything that I do in my tips that I give you all is a matter of my own personal preference. Things that have worked for me that I'm trying to share with you to try to help you all catch some more fish. And um, like I said, it's everybody's got their own opinion on fishing. And sometimes one person's right, sometimes the other person's wrong, all, you know, sometimes. So that's just the way it is. But anyway, this is a tip I think you're really going to like. I think you'll, you'll probably modify your base and start doing them like this from now on once you try it. So hope you guys are doing good. Have a good Christmas. We'll talk to y'all later.